Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pageant Professors. We are in the studio today with Alyssa Murray, Miss Delaware 2012. Alyssa, thank you so much for joining us. We're so excited to have you here. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> and first off, congratulations on your big win. That thank you. Very exciting. Yes. <laughs> tell, us, tell, what, tell us what was going through your mind when they called out your name. I don't really remember them calling out my name. Uh, I was standing there with the first runner up, who's a really good friend of mine. And I just remember us looking at each other and just saying, what is happening? And then all of a sudden I was standing there alone. And uh, I don't remember a song being played or what I did. Um, I, I don't really think I cried. I, I think I was just so overwhelmed. I think the, the only emotion that I can like describe is like overwhelmed. <laughs> That, that's a good way to put it. I mean, you and you looked stunning, and we were cheering for you. Did Thank fantastic. You. <laughs> so, um, what was it like going into prep for Miss Delaware? Well, the first year I did Miss Delaware, it was kind of on a whim. I needed scholarship money, and I just thought, why not? I was Delaware's junior Miss a couple years ago, and that paid for my undergrad. It's now a Distinguished Young Women of America, and I just thought, why not try it? So last year was more. I was there to get scholarship money, and I ended up getting fourth runner up, and I was really excited with that. And then I kind of got pit, like, bit by the pageant bug, and I was like, this is fun. So um, I went back and you know, started hitting the gym really hard. I lost about 20 pounds before I came back to wow. the cellar. Yeah. Um, from a size 6 to a size 2 this year, oh um, almost goodness. to zero. So yeah, and for me, it's a big feat because I'm not a tiny girl. Um, <laughs> You're so, gorgeous and stunning, thank you. so I can't <laughs> thank imagine. You. I worked a lot on talent. I learned how to do makeup, which was probably oh. the hardest part for me about pageants, was learning how to put on makeup. <laughs> it's definitely a skill that you learn. Yes. Uh, that's not, you know, we, Nicole and I say, like, pageant makeup is not yes. real life makeup. So it's not. So you're learning basically this <laughs> whole new, you know, and stuff that uh, you look in the mirror and it might look crazy, but on stage. Mm -hmm. Well, sick. I was a swimmer in high school, so there was no <laughs> point wearing makeup because it would all wash off. Right. So... You know, I never wore makeup in high school. All right, so let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Learning how to do stage makeup is no easy feat. So where, where did you go to? How did you, how did you figure that out? Well, at Miss Delaware last year, the first time I competed, I put on makeup and I was ready to go. And Maria Cahill, who ended up winning Miss Delaware, looked at me and she said, oh, no, you're not. <laughs> and she put a makeup on me and I said, Maria, I look like a clown. But, you know, on stage yeah. it looks fine. So a lot of other pageant girls taught me how to do makeup and then YouTube. I'm a big YouTube fan, so I watch a lot of makeup tutorials. Are there any favorite makeup tutorials on YouTube that you can think of? I love the Fowler sisters. I watch them all the time and I follow oh, them on Twitter. <laughs> that's good to know. I yes. have to check them out. I mean, they're awesome. We I think we learned the same way. Initially, it's like makeup geek was a big one mm -hmm. for us that it was all about the YouTube videos and it you yes. know, teaches everyone. So, yeah. um, good to know. Good yeah. to know. Okay, so you're talking about your talent. What is your talent? Can you tell us a little bit about it? I'm a dancer. Um, okay. I've been dancing my whole life, so I love it. And I'm doing a jazz dance. It's really upbeat and fun. It's the same routine. Well, it's the same song that mm -hmm. I use for Miss Delaware, which is River Deep Mountain High. Oh. And it's by Celine Dion, so it's like really upbeat and right. high energy. It's a lot like me in a song. Um, <laughs> so I'm using the same song again for Miss America because it's my favorite. I love it. That's so, fantastic. Yeah. Go, you know, go with what works. Yes. <laughs> work on the state level, we'll do great on the national level. Yeah. And we love the upbeat, fun, just really kind of get some energy yes. out there. I'm, I'm trained in ballet and I did lyrical for a while, but I have too much energy for <laughs> ballet or lyrical. <laughs> You're like, that's too, that's it's too restrained. Too, it's too low key. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Now tell us a little bit about your platform. My platform is Melano More. It's skin cancer advocacy and awareness. When I was younger, my cousin, um, he was my godbrother, his name was Kent McCullough. He died, um, he was diagnosed with stage four melanoma. Um, his oh, wife was so in sorry. her, yeah, his wife was in her third trimester with their second child um, when he was diagnosed and it had already spread to his brain and his lungs and his lymph nodes. So um, he lost his battle within eight months. Wow. And I was young. I had no idea what skin cancer was. I didn't even know you could die from skin cancer. So I decided, you know, that has to change. So our family started Melon no More, and I've kind of headed up the education department where I go in and I talk to, um, I talk to kids at different schools, and I've partnered with a couple of the lifeguard beach patrols at home and talked about it. It's the most important part about melanoma awareness is education. Right. Because it's the most preventable form of cancer, and if caught early, um, if caught before stage two, there's a 90% survival rate. Really? But if after stage four, there's only a 5% chance of living more than five years. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I had no idea the yeah. numbers were so... Yeah. And what a lot of people don't realize is I'm fair-skinned and I freckle, but I don't sunburn. 
But a tan is damage. Anytime you're tan, that's skin damage. So um, even if you're freckly like me and you don't really burn, you're still at a very high risk. Um, any skin color is susceptible to skin cancer. So, so to kind of tie that in, you know, we have a lot of girls and they're competing for swimsuit or competing yes. for fitness where <laughs> they want to tan because automatically, you know, you think tanning means you're fit. So what, what advice do you have for your fellow pageant contestants? <laughs> spray tan, spray tan, spray tan. <laughs> Um, I'm a huge fan of tan towels. I will advocate them until the day I die because they are the best inventions ever. Um, they come in a little, it's like a moist towelette, like okay. what you use on your hands. And you just rub it all over you and it looks so natural. It's not orange and I'm really pale and it never looks orange on me. So anytime you see me and I look a little bronze, it's always a spray tan. That's good to um, know. It's so much healthier. The only healthy tan is a fake tan. That, that's great, yeah, because we, we have those questions all the time yes. and we obviously do not advocate. Yes. Uh, the tanning beds, but we know that some of some of the girls can't give them up. So, tanning towelettes is your the way to go. <laughs> and another tanning, a cool thing about uh, spray tans, is that they can like contour your sides, like make it a little darker, so you look a little skinnier. So it's yeah. kind of like it's like an advantage sometimes. I love that. The contouring is fantastic. We did the spray tans before, and they you know yes. add a little bit of shade yeah. and take a little bit of cut. It was it was pretty fantastic. So it's like a it's like an extra perk. You're healthy and you look a little slimmer. <laughs> so is, are, are the tanning towelettes something you learned through pageantry? Actually, my grandmother got me onto them when I was younger. Um, going to proms and homecomings and stuff, everyone went to the tanning beds, and obviously my mom was not no having way. that. Neither was I. So my grandmother started ordering them off of um, Home Shopping Network, okay. and I got so hooked on them. They're amazing. <laughs> That's fantastic. So you're bringing that kind of mm -hmm. trick to your pageant experience, are there any pageant tricks that you've learned through competing that you didn't know about beforehand that you've kind of incorporated into every day? I mean, I wouldn't say a trick really, but confidence. Yeah. I was always kind of gawky and awkward in high school, like, you know. We don't see how that's possible. <laughs> you do not see that. You're, she's like a gorgeous blonde glamazon. I was, I mean, I was always a tomboy growing up. I have, I have a brother and two stepbrothers. I never stood a chance to be a girly girl. <laughs> Um, so I think doing pageants, I've gained a lot of confidence now, and I think that was the big difference this year going into Miss Delaware, is I had to believe first that I could be Miss Delaware, and then the judges believed it once I did. I love I think it. that was the big change this year, was that I knew that I could do the job. Confidence so they got shows through. That's yeah, what you it have really to. does. So how was your interview at Miss Delaware? Were there any great questions they asked, any kind of nerve-wracking questions? <sighs> Well, they were all nerve-wracking at first because you walk in and they're so stern face, poker face. And then after the first few questions, they break. Um, I'm a Spanish minor and I'm, um, I'm fluent in Spanish, so I got a question um, about a boy who gave a graduation speech in Spanish at a predominantly English-speaking English speaking. English speaking high school <laughs> and if I thought that was appropriate. Um, and that was kind of a, you know, That's one that made question. me think. Yeah. And it was kind of where do you draw the line between respect for other cultures right. and, you know, disrespecting other people. And that was a good question. That is a good yeah. question. I feel like a lot of them are always, you know, what's your biggest accomplishment? What are you most proud of? Anything like that. Right. So. so let's talk about Miss America Prep. It must be so exciting. Yes. We've got a couple months. <laughs> so what are you looking forward to the most about Miss America? I just want to do my talent on that stage. Yeah. I can't wait. I, I've always... You know, growing up, I even though I was a tomboy, I loved watching Miss America. Yeah. And, you know, last year watching Maria and just being her friend, I was so proud. And, you know, I think I, I probably was crying more than she was throughout the whole week just thinking about her. So um, it's really cool that I'm going to have that same experience that one of my best friends had. And I'm really excited um, to meet the girls. I get to meet them next week in Orlando at Miss America Outstanding Team. Right. Which you will be we at. will be yeah. at. Nicole and I will be down there. Yes. Go Delaware. Woo! Go Morgan. So <laughs> I'm excited to meet all of them. That's, That's fantastic. probably the most exciting part, that and dancing on the Miss America stage. <laughs> <laughs> Which we are very excited to see. Because like I said, yeah. anything upbeat, and I, I just, I love it when that, um, you know, Oklahoma was my favorite for the talent last yes. year, because I thought it was something yes. so exciting, and um, Betty Thompson, I have, oh, she's, love her. She's beautiful. She <laughs> I want to meet her. <laughs> That's um, what we said. Actually, my, you know how they do the home movies when right. you're in your talent at Miss America? Uh, I filmed my home movie, my first dance recital ever. I was tapping, and the song I was tapping to was um, Someday I'll Be Miss America. That's... <laughs> so I'm tapping and singing, and in the video I'm like pointing. And... 
I like it. We started early. I was a diva. So I was a diva. When you become Miss America, <laughs> it'll all tie in. It'll come full circle. We'll see. Yes, that would be that would be ideal. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to jump back to the fitness. You said that you yes. lost twenty pounds preparing. Yes. Um, did you have a certain type of fitness regimen? Some certain diet. You know, mm-hmm. how did you go about that? Because that's a big accomplishment. And that's yeah. What helped me the most was getting a personal trainer. Okay. I had this amazing trainer up at school, and I went to him once a week, started off in um, December, okay. and just kept going to him until Miss Delaware. Uh, I started taking TRX. I don't know if you've heard of TRX. I haven't. It's brutal. Yeah? It's a body weight class, and there's a bar, and you're suspended. Um, there's like a harness, and you put your feet in it, and you're doing planks, and it's muscles that I've never used. Oh my used. goodness. Yeah. I do Pilates and yoga, and I'm a dancer, but... TRX touched muscles I have never even known were in my body. Oh my goodness. It was amazing. Um, I have to do a lot of lengthening exercises because I'm tall, but I tend to build muscle really quickly. I was a competitive gymnast forever, so. Be nice. Um, (laughs) And then I just ate a lot of um, lean protein, a lot of fish, and um, a lot of greens, not a whole lot of carbs, and only carbs before dinner time and whole wheat, so. Did you have a go-to snack? Because a lot of times we get questions from girls who are like, you know, I do okay with the meals, and it's Mm -hmm. the snack time that I reach for the chips or the popcorn, or do you have any go-to snacks that help you get through cravings? Yeah, the easiest snacks for me are um, the tuna fish that comes in a package. Uh It's like a little packet. If you just pour vinegar in that, Instead of mayonnaise, it's lower fat, and it's easy to keep in a purse or something. If you need it, you just pull it out. You can eat it with nothing in it. It's still good. And then um, lately, I've been into doing plain Greek yogurt, non-fat, faye Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. And then I mix in chocolate uh, protein powder, uh, whey protein. Yeah, instead of all the sugar from like a, you know, a flavor or something with a jelly in it. It's a lot lower sugar, and it's really good for you. High protein, low fat. I like it, yeah. yeah. I, I, we, we're big fans of the Greek, yo- Greek yogurt. Yeah, and then sprinkle some flavor. cinnamon on. It's really good. Aww. Yeah. All right, we'll have to do this. No <laughs> I just show. learned that from my Miss Delaware trainer the other day. So Impressive. That's been my newest development. Keep, keep, keep these secrets coming. We need yeah. them. Yeah. Um, so to lose as much weight as you did, you know, a lot of people expect leading up to the big pageants, they have to spend five hours in a gym a day. How, <laughs> how long do you think... You know, or how long would you suggest is like a good amount of time when you're prepping for a pageant to be in the gym? As much as you can, really. Um, for me, I was a full-time student, um, you know, working my way through college, and it was during finals week. The main thing for me was changing my diet. Okay. Um, and I did exercise. I did a lot of uh, free weights, a lot of low weight, high repetition. I'd say I was in the gym for about an hour a day before Miss Delaware, but I'll give myself an off day. If I wake up and I'm not feeling it, I don't go. It's just as important to rest your body as it is to work it. You need to rest. You need a rest day in there. That's a great tip. So yes, being a full-time student, testing, finals, all <laughs> kinds of stuff, how do you balance the two? Time management. Time management? You know, we all have the same amount of time in a day. And people are always saying, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. You need to budget your time. And what I do, I have a planner. And if I'm having a day where I'm like, I have so many things to do today, I'll write out hour by hour what I should be doing. Um, And my main thing in college, uh, when I was, you know, full-time student this year, I woke up every morning at 7 so that I could get everything done. (laughs) I like it. It's all about budgeting that time wisely. Yeah, absolutely. So before we let you go, we've got to talk to you about the Children's Miracle Network. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing for them and and Mm -hmm. how that kind of ties into Miss America. Well, um, as Miss Delaware, I'll be visiting CHOP, which is the Children's Hospital in Philadelphia. Um, so I'll be working with CMN there for their radiothon, which is really exciting. And what's I'll, the radiothon? It's a uh, it's a radio marathon to raise money for CMN. Okay. So I'll be um, helping out there, which is exciting, and I'll be making a lot of hospital visits. And all of the Miss America contestants raise money for CMN oh. at the local level, all the way to nationals. Wow. So yeah, so I'll be raising at least five hundred this year. Hopefully, a lot more than that because it's a great cause. Exciting. It really is. And so, do you have a website set up where people can mm-hmm. donate? Okay. If you go to MissAmericaForKids.org and um, you can search for Delaware, and you can search for me, and I'll be right on there, and feel free to donate. There we go. We'll put a link. It's all to a good cause. And it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. We'll put a link on the page below to so make sure every dollar counts. It doesn't yes. have to be a big amount. Yes. You can do $5 here and there, and it adds up. Yeah, it does. So, it really does. Wonderful. Well, we're so excited to follow your journey to Miss America. We yeah. think you're going to do amazing. Thank you. Um, you know, it's been so great having you in the studio. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me.
Did you know that there are some really common mistakes that girls make during the evening gown portion of their competition? Click on the link in the description below and you'll be taken to our website for a free 30 minute long training course. By the end of it, you'll learn how to avoid these common mistakes and master the evening gown portion of your competition today.